Okay, here's my tutorial on using the alias command in Counter-Strike Source. We're going to look at four uses. The first use is for remembering a command with lots of arguments that could be a little bit complicated and giving it a better name. The second use is for chaining the same command together lots and lots of times. The third use is for securing uh, commands or variables on your server. And then the fourth use will be sort of putting a combination of these together for better adminning um, on a server. So the first use, which is to remember parts of a variable. So say we have sv underscore r accelerate, and we want that to be 150. Now you might not be able to remember that very easily, so we can make an alias. Now to make an alias, we have the command alias and two variables. A variable is just something you pass on to the console. So alias, we have the variable of the name of the alias, which we'll put in speech marks, and we're going to call this alias surf. Now the second part is the actual command, so this would be sv underscore air accelerate 150. We can also use the semicolon to separate multiple commands on the same line and then put another one, so we could do surf settings loaded. Okay, so now when we type in surf into console, we have surf settings loaded. There we go, so that's the first use. Second use is when you want to run the same command lots of times. So say we had, uh, we wanted to put echo uh, loading server dot dot dot. Now, say we wanted to do that four times, four or five times. Normally, we'd have to put the same thing um, over and over again four times, but that's not very ergonomical. Um, if you put it in a script, it's going to create lots of lines of code. And also, if you want to change part of it, you're going to have to change every single one of them. All right, so it's easier to assign an alias. So we could do alias um, echo underscore test, echo test. So now echo underscore test, we'll put that out. Then we could do echo, uh, alias, sorry, um, five tests, tets, <laughs> um, echo test, colon, echo test, colon, echo test, colon, echo test, colon, echo test. There we have five of them. Now if we do five tests, um, we get five of those. Now uh, one other usage of this would be with the uh, wait command, which gives a short, very, very short pause, which you can chain together for things like uh, bunny hopping scripts and stuff like that, and you could chain them together to create, say, four waits, uh, and use that to uh, to have four wait commands, which makes your scripts a lot shorter and easier to read. All right. Third usage is to block commands from being used on the server. Now, when you run an alias, you don't have any special um, commands with it. It's just what you put as the alias name. So we can use a pre-existing command as the alias name. Now, bear in mind, you have to run this on the server, so say in the server.cfg file, and also you have to run it after you've set up these variables, otherwise you won't be able to change them yourself. So one good example is the log command, which prints a nice little line in a log file every time a command is run. Now, you want to be able to have this file to hand, uh, say if an admin runs a command, and then you get a complaint uh, I mean, admin plugins will usually have their own logs, but you know, with a traditional kick ID or ban ID system, you will need to have these logs. All right, so what we can do is we can do log on, so that's turned logging on, okay? And then we can do alias log echo sorry, you cannot change the value of log. So now if we try log off, sorry, you cannot change the value of log. There you go. That's the third use. It's good for commands like archon underscore password, sv underscore cheats, and meta, which can be used to unload source mod, which, uh, you know, if you if you haven't got the archon password or privileges for that, then you need source mod or another admin plugin to admin. All right. Here's another one. And the fourth use is sort of combining these all together. So in your server.cfg file, you might have uh, log on, then you might have uh, alias log echo no. Okay, then on the clients file, you might have await uh, things. You could have four waits, as we discussed earlier. And we could have wait, 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 wait. Okay, so four waits now does four waits. And then finally, for an admin command that you can never quite remember, so we could have alias 
flay all and to have that command do ma underscore flay all and that's it simple uses of a simple command that can make things a lot easier counter strike source